Today we're taking the giveaway 2015. You'll see why soon. Boy, is she angry though, wow. What's going on guys, and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Lime Ridge, and welcome to only two days left for you to get your entries for a chance to win the 2015 LML Duramax that started this channel. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the sad day is upon us where there are, if you're watching this, on September 1st, 2019, just two days remaining until this sweepstakes is gone forever, and ultimately, an announcement will follow in the next few weeks as to whether or not you will be taking home that truck. The baby, the truck that started and founded the Dirty Max Jack YouTube channel will have its day of reckoning and that's only just around the corner. Kind of sad but kind of exciting. I'm actually more excited than sad but a lot of sentimental value there. So there are a few more of the limited quantity benchmark t-shirts available front and back design or anything else on the site. Explore your favorite product options. All the information is listed there. First link in the description below. Seriously guys, one of you are gonna be taking these keys home very, very soon. Well, except those two keys, but uh, yeah, you get the point. So anyway guys, welcome back to Lime Ridge Automotive, the family of Lime Ridge, where we are picking up another vehicle for the channel. Now, this is gonna be a first, a big time first, and I don't know what I'm gonna title this video yet, but I guess contingent upon that and only time will tell, if I didn't call out the vehicle in the title quite yet, drop a comment below. What do you, what do you guys think we're gonna be getting today? What, what are we gonna be getting? Another Chevy? No, that wouldn't be a first. Are we gonna get a Dodge? Maybe a Ram? Maybe a 6.7? Are we gonna get maybe an LMM? That would be a first. Are we gonna get a, are we gonna get a Ford? I don't know, and only time will tell. So, remember in the beginning of this video, I talked about the 2015 and we'd be bringing it because it's kind of a foreshadow? Well, we brought the 2015 today because it was kind of a foreshadow. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be buying a 2015 year vehicle. But the big question is, which one might it be? It is here somewhere. We'll look around, we'll look around. Oh, that's a nice truck. Are we bringing a new Denali Dually to the channel? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Are we bringing a Ford to the channel? An LMM? Oh man, check out this Dodge. Paint match, that thing is beautiful. We haven't had a 6.7 on the channel yet, Dodge. We haven't had a long bed Denali on the channel yet or a black truck. Man, color variables now. Morning. Is it gonna be something that's lifted really high? Ah, man, a new, a newer Super Duty? No, that's not 2017. Could it be a single cab Ford? Maybe a Ram? Oh man, I don't know, I don't know. Check out this one back here. It's a nice power stroke. Could it be a Jeep? Are you guys really ready for this right now? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Well guys, I am more than excited to present to you the brand new vehicle on the channel. And it is this 2015 Power Stroke Super Duty F250 Lariat Crew Cab Short Box Ford. Yes, Ford, you guys heard right. No clickbait here, no clickbait, no jokes. I had you going there for a little while. I had you guys razzled and dazzled for the Jeep thing. I know some of you guys would have been excited, but I think a lot of you guys probably would have been scratching your head, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had to kind of lead it in. That is a very sick Jeep though, by the way. Guys, it is true, we now have a Ford on the channel. I'm trying, I'm lost, only my mind's fine time, yeah, fine time. I'm sure I'm Yes, guys, it is true, and to prove it to you, here are the keys in my hand that belong to that beauty right there. Oh my God, we have a Ford on the channel, boys. This is a monumental day for the history of the channel. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time, and today is finally the day, and I am so excited about it. Now, you might ask yourself, why a 2015 6.7? Well, there's a long, long, long drawn out reason for that, but the short of the long is I had actually done a lot of research into what Power Stroke we wanted to end up going with, and I actually started at the OG 7.3 OBS, as a matter of fact, the square body OBS because, little fun fact, I'm gonna introduce you to a deep dark secret. It's actually one of my wife and I's favorite body styles that Ford ever offered. And the 7-tree is easily one of the most reputable motors that's never going to give any problems. But the problem with looking for a truck that old is they're few and far between, especially ones in exceptionally good condition. And I only want to buy things that are extremely worthwhile. So that kind of cut that out from the list. Wasn't a big fan of the second generation 7-3, so decided to look at 6-0s. And well, I was actually considering doing a 6 project just to show people that they are very capable once they go through all their stuff. But I don't even want to go into that long drawn out conversation because I didn't know if I wanted to for the first time jump into a Ford brand and have that kind of an opinion 
about it. I wanted to start with something that was a little bit more warm and cuddly versus something that was a little bit more aggressive and, I don't know, could beat me up, if you will, kind of a bully. Then that brought us to the 6.4 Power Stroke, and, well, I'm not even going to go into talking about why I didn't go to those because, honestly, I think that that was one where the engineers just had no idea what they were doing with Ford, and those trucks are extremely problematic. So then that brought us to the 6.7, and I had always actually had an infatuation with the 6.7s ever since one of my good buddies bought one after I graduated from Penn State. He is actually now working at Ford Motor Co., and I was really pumped. Matter of fact, guys, before I got my job with General Motors way back in the day when I graduated from college in 2014, I was looking at maybe even buying a 6.7 Power Stroke, although I got the employee discount from GM. Yes, guys, I'm not making that up, and today is the monumental day where we have one, and I'm super pumped about it. Now, that brings us to the 2015. Why, Jack, did you go with a 2015 versus, let's just say, an 11 or a 12 or a 13 or a 14? And while to my Ford gurus, you know the answer, but to my non-Ford people, this is, this is new to me. I'm educating myself on this. The 2015 is basically the second generation 6.7 that was uh, remodeled in a lot of ways where the weak points were kind of worked out. So on the 2015, the 6.7 saw revised injectors, revised injection pump, and a revised turbo to make the platform just a little bit more robust, whereas the 11, 12, 13s, and 14s were subject to pump failures, injector failures, and failure, failures. I can't even talk. Oh my God. Pump failures, injector failures, and turbo failures, which were definitely big nightmares for owners, and I didn't really want to subject myself to that. Rather, we found this gem right here. So this is a 2015, and guys, here, this is the coolest part about it. Yes, yes, you're seeing that right. It's only got 66,479 miles on it. So let's just say this thing is extremely fresh. Now let's get into the exterior configuration real quick before we jump onto the inside, which you can see is jet black. It is a Lariat, so it's pretty much got every package under the sun, except for the sunroof and the rear entertainment package. It is the J7, I want to say, exterior paint color, which is like a pretty slick graphite gray. Another big first on this channel, as I've never had a truck this color before, but I'm excited to see what we can do with it. It's already tinted. It is a crew cab, six and a half foot bed, F-250, four by four. And it is just so sick. I'm pumped today, guys. I am extremely, extremely excited. First startup ever for the vlog. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Man, this thing is slick. I don't even know why I just did that. Super duty, boys. What's this up here? All right, all right. Some more connection ports, some storage, another car adapter. So here I am talking about Fords. Wow, I can't believe the day has actually come. The Lariat is basically the almost top trim. It's kind of like the LTZ or the SLT for the GM brand. It's not quite the high country, but it is basically the next runner up. It's almost like first and a half place in a race. Now Ford also has the King Ranch and the Platinum. Now they have the Limited and then they have the Lariat. So they've got all these trims, but they're all basically minor differentiations of one another. Some come with color match, et cetera, et cetera. But the fundamental premium options that are offered at all those top trims are this truck right here. It's the Sony Microsoft Sync system. So it's got the sweet sound system. It's got all the gizmos and gadgets everywhere. Now the one sick thing that I've always loved about the 6.7s, this got me right away when I used to be a car freak, was Boost there's a turbo gauge that comes factory on these trucks. Ha! That is the coolest thing ever. So this truck stock from the factory made about 400 horsepower and about 800 foot pounds of torque and that is up from its previous generation 6.7 that was at about 390 horsepower and about 735 foot pounds of torque and they saw those improvements through the new GT37 single geometry VGT turbo. Sorry to get into all the technicalities but that's really what kind of helped. The previous generation from 11 to 14 had that GT32 which was a dual boost compressor or it's a dual compressor dual boost turbo which was like a total piece of crap and I didn't really want anything to do with that. Now that also helped to improve the exhaust braking capability, which kind of sucked on the older turbo. We don't have focus, so my focus kind of sucks as well. They have a new crankshaft in these. They strengthened the cylinder heads, and then they even made some improvements to handle the increased torque and horsepower to the four 6R140, I believe it's a 6R140 six-speed transmission by upgrading like the torque converter and stuff like that. So pretty solid, pretty robust platform. They took this same powertrain drivetrain combination and put it into the second gen 6.7s that were redesigned on the exterior for I believe what was it 2017 and up 
Is that right, 2017 and up? Sorry, this isn't my forte. Now enough fun facts. I just wanted to let you guys know that this thing is going to be a sturdy platform to play around with. And trust me, I've got plans. I got plans. I just don't know exactly yet. I'm still trying to kind of determine exactly what we're going to be doing. But there's obviously going to be later videos that covers all that. Let's head out and go for the inaugural test drive. I haven't actually even test drove this truck yet because I knew that much that I would enjoy it without a question of a doubt. So here we go. Driving a Ford, boys! Oh my goodness! So driving a Ford is uh, is different than any other truck that I've ever driven because of this window sill design. That's like one of the most obvious differences when you're driving the blue oval versus anything else. You get a lot more clearance there, and um, as a whole, driving a Power Stroke just feels a lot bigger. I would made comment to that when I made my initial review video of the 2020. It's almost like General Motors had their eyes on the Ford prize when they took into account some of the designing cues into their build. Now. Another thing that I'd actually just recently mentioned, and it's the one thing that stands out to me, is that uh, what I really like about this, I don't know, some people might argue dated, but I'd still call it pretty relevant, information display is that you have the current gear indicator on the right side. So it tells us what gear we're in. General Motors, come on, guys. I'm, I'm complaining right now. I'm sorry, I'm complaining. But this truck is solid axle front end, so it does drive a little different in steering and suspension feel compared to what I'm used to with the independent front suspension truck that we've always played around with there under the Duramax brand but I'm not gonna lie it is pretty damn smooth and man I feel like I feel like I got all the room in the world in here I could just like throw a little party throw a party for myself now that we're driving a Ford for all the Ford people out in the audience but yes guys when it came down to bringing on this truck I was really excited about it not only because it is something new but because I know I have a ton of Ford followers that support a Duramax channel which I love love all you guys no matter your brand identification but I had to do this for everybody that's been asking to see a power stroke come through the filter of this channel and I hope that you guys are excited about it so drop a comment below Hello. Did you guys see this coming or did you not? I kind of alluded to uh, some unpredictability there for a little while, but I didn't feel like I let on enough to actually give this away. Did I or did I not? Let me know below. Well, oh, we got that nice sliding window feature in the back here too. Ah, oh, man, that breeze that you get from the sliding rear window is something that I'm very new to, as a matter of fact, with the 2020. It's just so nice. It takes all the pressure out of the cab. Man, driving this thing around, though, it's great. It's got awesome visibility everywhere around, and it's a super nice truck. It's got a lot of pep, like a lot of pep, as a matter of fact. Wow. That thing gets it, boys. <laughs> the 6R140 feels a little bit more, or should I say, responsive. Uh, compared to an Allison transmission. Not in a bad way, like Allison's are awesome, but you kind of have to throttle into the Allison to get it to shift where uh, it seems like this calibration is a little bit more sensitive to the throttles, so you don't have to push it as much to get a reaction. Feels really nice, actually. I like it a lot. All the clicking on the Ford is interesting. It's not like the turn signal stays down when you're going, going to turn. It's actually just like a one click and then it bounces back. Kind of a cool little signature Ford characteristic there. Man, like the dashboard in this truck with like the wood trim and the aluminum kind of accent super nice very rugged feeling on the inside too wow you have this like big super duty kind of feels like construction-esque a little bit over there but then you kind of turn your head over here and it feels like you're elegant and fancy kind of an interesting combination of ruggedness and luxury it is pretty sick that this truck's already tinted that's one thing that we can just check right off the bucket list I saw a few comments I actually kind of laughed a little bit when we did the 2020 tint video which I wanted to do because I wanted to show you guys how you're we changing it up a little bit but no guys no guys we will not be doing a tint video on this Super Duty. Well, maybe actually, maybe I lied. Maybe, I, maybe I lied. Yeah, maybe I lied. But it won't be a full tint window video. <laughs> Oh boy, the dynamic duo. That is why we had to take the 2015 Duramax today because we were picking up a 2015 Ford. Look at them, they're so content and cozy together. It's like the LML is just such a humble dude and he's just always so down to make friends with any brand, no matter what. Figured that would be the warmest welcome to the family, especially as our most beloved family member will be leaving us. So one of you guys, my other awesome family members soon. The big question is, what are we gonna do with it? Great news is, it'll be coming to a vlog near you. We've already got some appointments set up for this thing. So definitely stay tuned. My Ford guys, I know you're touching base on the channel from time to time. It's all the GM stuff. You don't want to commit yourself to another brand because you don't want to cheat on the blue oval, but now is the time to tap that subscribe button. In all seriousness though, guys, if you're excited about this build, seeing this build and what it's going to turn into, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Definitely tap that subscribe button. We are on our way to 200K subscribers. We're at 165,000 earlier this year. In just a few short months, we've gained 65,000 new subscribers. I want to take one sincere minute to say thank you all 
all for deciding to touch base with this YouTube channel. Man, it's all about quality, not quantity, in my personal opinion. And every single one of you that are out there are just positively infused people that are energetic and truly and authentically excited about the same things that I get excited about. And that just makes me so pumped and I'm so grateful for this YouTube channel. Truly am, truly am. I'll tell you what, if that was eight by 170 or that was eight by 180, I would throw those wheels on this truck just to see what they would look like because they'd look amazing. But at the same time, a set of polished wheels would just set that truck off so much with the chrome. Oh boys, we got so many decisions to make with this build and wow, we have the best platform to build upon. You know what, speaking of a watch, we definitely have to get this thing cleaned up real quick because I feel like this is unacceptable. I'm not asking you to change again I'm just trying to catch a wave with you Before we get in way too deep You don't have to run away with me I'm not asking you to change again I'm just trying to catch a wave with you Before we get in way too deep 5'9 Laramine, you don't see those too often Extended cab, long bed Laramine sunroof. That is a very, very nice truck. Productive day, productive day. Wouldn't argue it any other way. LML's clean now, and six, seven. Man, that's, that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but I do have some other things that I need to tend to throughout the day, but this session has been a lot of fun. I hope you guys are excited about the new six, seven. Stay tuned, because we've got a long pipeline of content that's gonna be coming for that truck. Again, tap that subscribe button if you're excited about the new Ford, or if you're in here for the 2020 and you haven't committed yet because you're scared of commitment, but you're excited about the content, subscribe, subscribe, I promise you guys you won't regret it How YouTube? how to be a youtuber independently all right let's uh let's try that one more time here decent angle of the truck and a whole audience over there watching me it's all good how to be a youtuber Oh jeez, friends probably like, what the hell is this guy doing? How dare you do Independent. Again, if you're watching this video on September 1st, there's literally two days left for you to get your entries and they're double entries right now. So let's just say you wanted to pick up the Benchmark t-shirt. That doesn't get you one, but two entries in for a chance to take that thing home. Just imagine, you might be the winner very, very soon. Announcement following for the sweepstakes will be right around the end of the second, beginning of the third week in September. So keep your eyes peeled, ladies and gentlemen. Instagrams are below for other other communications, both Dirty Max and Enthusiast Apparel. Give them a follow. My likely I love you guys. Do what you do best, and I'll see you on the next upload. I'm trying, I'm lost, only my mind's fine time, yeah, fine time. I'm sure I'm lying, stay in.